Hello everybody, this is Jyoti Dogra and I welcome you all to this new video on palmistry and today we are going to talk about a very important topic in palmistry like we have talked about in my earlier videos, we have talked about love marriage or arranged marriage indications but now people are asking me what kind of a partner they are likely to get if their partner will be will be good looking if their partner will be rich or not the partner will be uh, from the same community or from different community the partner will be elder to them or you know questions like these so i thought why not to make a video that will be covering all of them and i'm trying to cover all of these topics in this video and if still you have doubts you can definitely comment down below and i will revert back to you and i will try to make another video on the same so in this video you can see this palm it belongs to one of my clients so i'm taking it as a reference so first of all if your heart line you can just check it for your partner as well like you can check it for your, for your existing partner so that you can see a kind of compatibility you can see your own palm and then your partner's palm and then you can check if how compatible you you both are so in this palm as you can see here I have the heart line and the heart line, heart line is dividing into two and it goes above the uh, Jupiter, uh, it goes towards the Jupiter mount. I'll just show you here. So here this is the heart line and it gets divided and it's, it's, it's going like this. So if a person's heart line at first divides and goes to Jupiter, it indicates that this person is very emotional and this person can take a stand for their loved ones as I've told this earlier in my videos as well. So this person can take stand for their loved ones and this person is likely to be married to the love of their life. Like this person is having a chance of having a love marriage. Now if this heart line divides and it goes, it goes like this and this turns downwards so this means that this person is also likely to ditch their partner if the situation arrives so this person can very well ditch you so you cannot trust such a person so this is one indication you can check your partner's palm for this but instead of going upwards and then turning downwards if it goes straight and it goes to jupiter this indicates that this person will take a stand for their loved ones is likely to be very emotional and this person is very much a uh, custom oriented person i mean this person can preserve his or her own customs he is very religious or she is very religious she follows her customs with you know wholeheartedly and this person uh, will somewhere likely to uh, preserve the customs and traditions of his own and uh, will not cro cross a certain boundaries that are set by him or her so yeah this is also one indication nextly if this is your palm and your marriage line as we know it's on the mount of mercury so these are your marriage lines so lines like these they are marriage lines the shorter ones are the uh, influential bonds uh, which can be affairs and the longer one turns out to be marriage eventually yeah so if you have a marriage line like this and your marriage line crosses the amount of sun or touches the amount of sun so your marriage line is coming like this and it goes and it touches here or it is crossing this so this means at first place you are your partner will be very rich you will be married in a very rich family secondly your partner will is likely to be mature will be very mature in decisions okay and the partner will also be handsome or uh, the partner is likely to be handsome or beautiful in case of women so yeah this is one indication it's a very good indication if you have so if your marriage line crosses the amount of sun this will also indicate that marriage will be one turning point in your life because after marriage your career will is likely to take a rise i mean your career will rise it will add to your career it will add wealth to you because your marriage will be in very rich family so this is one indication secondly if there are lines which are coming from mount of moon and they are joining with your fate line now this person this is the fate line and if there are lines in case of male so if you have lines coming from the mount of moon and joining with this fate line this indicates line like these this indicate that this person is supported by the people of opposite gender uh, in career and marriage will also be one turning point for his career and females are lucky for him so very good indication if you have it okay so this is one kind of indication if you have your marriage line like this and there is one more line coming and it is joining to this marriage line like like this so this is your marriage line and there is one more line coming parallel to it and joining with it like like this i'm able to draw it just a minute 
so this is the marriage line and this this is one more line draw it with another color so it's like this so if you have this kind of indication this means that your partner will be very boastful i mean the people who always boast about them so your partner is likely to be very boastful in case of a female if you have it then your partner will be a liar and you should definitely look after it yeah so this is not a very good indication to have nextly if your marriage line is like this and there is a branch from it and it goes downwards so here it's a marriage line and there is a downward branch going from this so this indicates that this person is likely to have extra marital affairs or he will be influenced by other women except for his wife so not a very good indication to have okay so the last indication to see if your partner will be elder to you in age or not so here if you have a line coming from your bracelets so these are your bracelets they are called mani mand so these are your bracelets and if there is a line which comes from your bracelets and then it goes and joins with your fate line so this is your fate line and there is a line which is coming from the bracelets and it is enclosed by the life line and then finally goes and joins the fate line then this indicates that the person uh, the person who is having this indication his or her partner will be elder to them i mean not elder like in india we have this tradition that uh, the uh, partner is always 2 to 3 years uh, elder to you if a girl is there so the partner is likely to be 2 to 3 years elder to them but in this case the age gap will be more than that 5 6 7 10 years sometimes be male shaadi jise hum kehte hain there's a there's a lot of difference between the ages so yeah if you have this then then definitely it's 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 going to be a mismatch kind of a match but yeah if you love someone then i think it it's worth it i mean it's it's okay no problem with that right so yeah if a line coming from bracelets enclosed by the uh, lifeline then going and joining the fate line indicates that there will be a lot of difference in the age between two of you so yep and the next indication if there's a line which is coming from your bracelet line and it is going and joining with the sun line now some people have long sun line something like this so this is your fate line fate line is with red and this this is your sun line this one and there is a line which is coming from the bracelets like this and it goes and joins the sun line something like this then this indicates that this person's partner will be very famous celebrity marriage kind of a thing that this person is likely to be married with someone who is socially very recognized very known personality so yeah very good indication if you have it and uh, the out of community thing i've already told in my love marriage arranged marriage video so if you have lines coming from your heart line joining your sun line so this is your sun line i'll draw it with a dark color so this is the sun line okay this is the sun line and if you have lines coming from your heart line and joining with it then this is one indication of out of community marriage and the second indication is if your marriage line is forked into a trishul kind of a structure या जस्ट अ मिनट पूरा त्रिशूल खराब कर दिया मैंने वेट या सो दीज टू इंडिकेशन आर आउट ऑफ कम्युनिटी मैरिज इंडिकेशन सो इफ यू हैव दीज देन डेफिनेटली यू कैन चेक योर पाम फॉर दीज सो आई थिंक आई हैव एक्सप्लेन द लॉट दैट्स इट फॉर टुडे इज वीडियो आई सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वन एंड इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरीज यू कैन रीच मी ऑन माई फेसबुक पेज इफ यू नो जस्ट अ मिनट this time i put my phone on airplane mode because last time people were telling me that there is a lot of there are lot of in, uh, you know hindrances because of the notification that i used to get so they were like ma'am apna please phone ko airplane mode mein karke aap video banao because there is continuous beep noise so this time i took care of it so i think you should say thanks to me <laughs> or you can be at least you know appreciating my efforts so yeah anyways lots of talks सी 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 ऐसे ही होता है मतलब जैसे ही मैंने ओपन किया आई गेट ओ गॉड ओ माई गॉड वेट आई गेट कीप ऑन गेटिंग पामिस्ट्री क्वेरीज एक्चुअली मोस्ट ऑफ दीज आर माई पामिस्ट्री क्वेरीज ओनली सो दिस इज माई फेसबुक पेज इट्स एज फेसबुक डॉट कॉम बैक स्लैश आई एम ज्योति डोगरा सो यू कैन रीच मी ऑन माई फेसबुक पेज वीव क्रॉस थाउजेंड सब्सक्राइबर्स आई थैंक यू ऑल फॉर दिस सो वीव क्रॉस थाउजेंड सब्सक्राइबर्स एंड दिस इज माई फेसबुक पेज इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरी यू कैन गेट इन टच एंड वी कैन टॉक अबाउट इट yep um so yeah this is the page and i share feedbacks also you can go through them 
if you have any doubt regarding me so you can also go through the feedbacks and uh, you can also reach me on my instagram account my instagram is nakronix so this is my instagram account you can reach me on my instagram account i keep sharing things uh, related to palmistry and astrology on it and you can also get in touch and uh, if you have any query so yeah that's all for today's video i take your leave now and if you have any query do reach me i'll see you in the next video bye bye take care